everyone, give me a moment while I close something else out. I have to minimize the game for that real quick. Alright, yeah, this is taking a while to load. Come on, load my character! The one I'm playing here, there we go. Close out that. I wish I could use that as a soundboard with my phone, but it it always disconnects every time I go live, and I have no idea how to fix that. There we go. That's much better. Let me fix this guy too. There we go. Alright. We got a new ship. We got a, a new officer. At least one new officer. And, uh... <laughs> Someone's name is Jack Daniels. The invalid entity name. The heavy cruiser. Why he chose to stick with that, I'll never know. Here's the, our newest ship. I called it the Normandy. After the uh, ship in Mass Effect. Oops. There we go. See? And the NCC is 2007, because that's the year the game came out, originally came out. I 
don't believe we have anything to do, but I can do some of these. Let's send out some duty officers. Actually. To make it more of a roleplay kind of thing. Let's see first. Diplomatic envoy, how can I assist? Oh, I can't do it. It appears I don't have the required personnel for this one. I'm gonna have to pass. What can we do? For tactical. Ah, oh, here's one. Oh, here's a good one. This gives 50. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. There's also one more mission that I did miss out on, so let's see if I can find a way to get to it. Okay, let's just do that one. That one. I'm just gonna do the rest of these. That one. However many I can, till I lack resources. This should be difficult. I need how many of each? I'm not gonna remember that. Because <laughs> once I open that, this is gonna close out. That's part of the trouble with the game. Let's see. Science department. Symbol. Shield charge back. Oh, well, let's do it. Special projects. Data sample analysis. Energy analysis. I can't do it. I don't know why, but I can't do it. Oh. Oh, I don't have the right stuff for it. Okay, never mind. Uh, what about this? Nope. Okay, that's all R&D stuff. I only have one captain that can do that. Science assignments. Ah, here we go. Is it anything else? This? This? Are uh, doing some away missions. I wonder if I could send duty officers to another player. Probably not. If they're already here, I can't send them between characters. Well, that's everything. That seems to be everything. There um, should be more. Let's go to engineering. Oh wait, that door doesn't open. Officer, what can we do today? I'll do that one. That one. Um, that. Looks like oh, that's all we can do here. Alright. 
Should be another officer in here. Don't see them, okay. Oh, here we go. What do you have? Oh, let's do this. Hello? Can I do this one? Oh, this is crew leave. Okay. I thought it was. Totally passed up the one I thought I saw. This one. Yeah, let's do that one. Can do this one. Like we are out of officers for now. Wait. I have provisions for this. Where'd it go? Stop moving stuff. There we go. There, got that one out of the way. All right, that looks like everything we can do here. Maybe there are a few left on the crew deck. There's something else down here. What is it? lab. You have no assignments. Okay. One of them has already come back. Finished. Ah. Crew deck. I believe we have a trophy in here too. Sick bay, doctor, do you have any assignments? Symbol a hypo pack. Oh. Unfortunately, we can't do that. What about medical assignments? We don't have the staff. Well. I do have a trophy to show off. Look at that thing. Amazing. And I just put two two ships up there just to re to look like our previous drinks. Pour a drink. Can't do it. Uh, special reserve. Can't do it. You've got to be kidding me. Extreme bartending, drown troubles with sorry and brandy. No personnel. Uh, never mind. I can get Earl Grey tea. <laughs> That's all. What about the cook? Any assignments? Culinary credentials? We lack the personnel. Oh, what am I doing? And then a menu, that's it. Ah, uh, never mind. There should be one more officer in here that allows, that has, that has uh, assignments. Over here, we have the counselor. 
Therapy session. Schedule morning session. Oh, no. We don't have the personnel for that. Never mind. Well, I think that's the entire ship, so I'm going to head back to the bridge. There's also some missions in the area. Current map. We can do this one. Like that's it. And personal ones? Yeah, nothing left. Alright. Let's head to our mission. Oh I forgot, there's a there's another mission. I was gonna look look it up real quick. Let's see. It's it's among those. Found it. Okay. Everything points to the communications array as the hub of Tasha activity on Nimbus 3. There have also been reports of disappearances in the vicinity, and they have to be related. Tasha have been taking people from all over. Makes sense that they're doing it here too. Time to find out what the what's going on inside that comm array. Get ready, Commander. I don't think that's going to be easy. Until next time. All right. Yeah, let's let's do that. This will finish up that one thing that I was doing on Nimbus. You needed confirmation? I mean, I figured being Gen Z was enough to tell you, but to tell you that. Can't believe I got the away crew I needed that quickly. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> You've been stuck over on the side. Oh, right. I have to go to the satellite. Wait, there was a faster way there. Hold on. I believe I set up the transporter so I could transport directly to it. So let's do that. That messed up the music. Pretty good. But here we are. We're gonna figure out how to get in. Well, now. Oh, great, there's a mission going on right here right now. Oh, it looks like someone else has it. Oh, jeez. Ay, ay, ay. 
Okay, I think that's all I needed to worry about. I'm gonna head inside. Let's begin this mission. Ah, <sighs> well, you know, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> After everything she did to him. Well, uh, another instance of he's gonna have to learn his lessons the hard way. Everyone just has to learn their lessons the hard way these days. No one listens to reason. They just have to ha they have to have reality absolutely smack them in the face before they understand anything. Sir, this facility could be the key to understanding what the Tal Shiar are doing on this planet. This is about more than Thaler on triggers. If it wasn't, they would have left once they learned the triggers were gone. We need to get inside and find out what their real goals are. Any idea where to go from here? This looks like an elevator, so my guess is that we head down. The Tal Shiar are going through this much trouble to hide and isolate this facility. It's a sure bet that they'll be guarding it. As soon as the Tao Shiar know we're here, we'll be fighting for our lives. A stealth approach would be best. And if any alarms trigger, we need to deal with them quickly. Disable the alarms before they can get more people in here. We don't have all the data yet, but the Tao Shiar seem to be conducting experiments here. We should investigate any proof we can get of Tasha wrongdoing it. It's valuable. Yes. I agree, but that wording was weird. <laughs> I'm gonna use these two. What? Not that. These. Plain evil. Sir, what happened in there? The test subjects are reacting well to the indoctrination procedures. Proceed carefully. This patient hasn't responded well to the treatments. 
What did we just see? The Tasha are experimenting on people? What could they possibly hope to accomplish with these atrocities? We need to press forward to find out. It's time for answers. No, that was me. Try a reading, see the room up ahead is a laboratory. We should take a look. We might find out more about what's going on here. This room? It is locked. Let's go here. Oh no. Phew. Hey, it's Rena. This is an important character to the to the Romulan story arc. You're not Tal Shar. Are you are you here to take me home? Yeah, who are you? My name is Rena. Rena Kev. I was working on a freighter, the Usakan. We haul anything we can to make some latinum with. We had an offer to take a load of Tekasite to Gasco Station. Mm. Ah, there we the go. The captain didn't like it. We heard there was trouble in that area, but we needed the work, so... The tall Shar were waiting for us. Captain Sarah let them board. Said they could inspect our cargo and manifest, but they... They killed him. And then they started shooting everyone else. I don't know why they kept me alive. But they kept asking me questions about terrorists and the Republic and my brother. They said he did such awful things. That he smuggled weapons and killed people. JC! But I know him. I know none of it is true. They're the ones who are evil. Let's get you out of here. Human beams out, the Romulan beam out. But yeah. Who are you? Are you here to hurt me again? Please, please. I'll tell you anything. Just tell me what you want. Calm down. Tell me what they did to you. There were lights. Voices. <laughs> Voices in my head. They were thoughts, but... They weren't mine. That was the worst of it. They hurt me. Cut me. One time, they amputated my hand. And two days later, they put it back. There were procedures. And I was awake. I could feel everything. I think they were doing some sort of test. But I don't know what they were for. I just want out of here. Look at you someplace safe. No, 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 no. Make it, make it stop. Make it stop. We're here to help. We won't hurt you. Uh, they come in the night. I woke up and one of them was standing over my bed. How did it get in my room? What does it want? Uh, I just want to go home. Well, I'll get you out of here. Is that all of them? Nope, there's one more. Over here. Oh. The light. It hurts my eyes. Can you turn it down, please? It's too bright in here. Tell me what happened. I was in a shuttle. There were tall Shi'ar attacking my colony. There was a blinding light and a noise that vibrated the cabin like it was coming apart. Then there was blackness. I woke up here. They keep asking me questions. 
questions about things I don't know. Oh, why didn't they just let me die? Let's get you out of here. Sir, I think we need to get the person responsible for this madness here so we can confront him. There's a communications center in this facility. I'm sure the operatives were in regular contact and their commanders with their commanders. It, if we send some false messages, perhaps we can convince someone to make an appearance. Alright. We get so rudely interrupted while I'm trying to read something. Really? alarms before they call more. Oh yeah, I know how to get rid of that notification flying thing. Let's go to, where is it? Notification settings. Lions, there we go. Just disable all of these. I don't need any of these on. Oh. There we go. That should stop those things from showing up on screen. Okay, um, I need to get back up there. <laughs> I was, uh, there for a reason. There it is. Ah, uh, ac access rates, read only. Please make a selection from the following menu. Communications. Please select a message to filed view. View message operative 569482 status update. So if we can alter this message and resend it, we might be able to lure whoever is in charge here into a trap. This is to Colonel Haki from operative 469 or five six nine four eight two. The son of the Orion Syndicate was in possession of the Thaleron trigger devices, but I was unable to procure them. Calm chatter and interrogations of some of Hassan's workers have revealed that the triggers are purchased by a splinter group of Remans. I have analyzed all traffic in and out of the Nimbus system, and a Reman vessel fled during the attempted raid by Hassan's fleet. All indications are that the triggers are off planet now. Do this one. Two installation 18 from Colonel Hakiv. Establish a base on the surface of Nimbus 3. Find and acquire Thaleron triggers believed to be in possession of the Orion Syndicate operative. Note it is imperative to keep Thaleron weapons out of the hands of our enemies. Keeping vital components for building these weapons off the open market is a continuing goal of the Tau Shiar. Prisoners of value will be sent to installation 18. Combining Ilachi interrogation and mind control techniques with our holographic conditioning has proven to be very successful in test cases. And that research will continue at Installation 18. Several Ilachi will be at the facility to facilitate this research. Prisoners who successfully resist combined conditioning will be given to the Ilachi for their use. Take control of supply lines on Nimbus 3 currently being run by the Orion Syndicate population of Nimbus 3 relies on outside suppliers for survival. Being the sole supplier of these goods will give us control of the planet without having to resort to a military solution. Change access rights. 
To access administrative functions, please enter password now. Alpha? Nope. Epsilon. There we go. Uh, write 5? Nope. Change read 13. Change 5. 2. Nope. 3. There we go. Access 144. Nope. Uh, 377. There we go. Epsilon 133377. Return to root. Uh, communications. Open for editing. Make changes. I was able to procure them. The Thalorn triggers were purchased for a modest fee and are ready for pickup from some of Hassan's workers located in the Nimbus system. All indications are that the triggers are in good condition. Send message. Sir, new life science dead ahead, and they're not like anything we've seen before. Our Romulan allies have shared some data on a species known as the Alachi that have been attacking Republic settlements. These life signs are a match, and they're working with the Tal Shiar. Perhaps we should attempt to detain one for questioning. Oh, I was like, did I get something new? No. Seriously? Ah, I found the last mission of that, that last set of missions. Oh right, I gotta trap the Alachi to question it. Now we have you. If you want to get out of here alive, you'll answer our questions. Let's start with something simple. Oh, stop him! Sir, that thing decided to kill itself rather than answer any of our questions. Why would it do that? I wish we could have learned more, but it looks like your plan worked. The Normandy reports that an entire Tau Shiar fleet has arrived in orbit in response to the message we sent earlier. Well, let's go. Yep. I bragging about having VIP. Uh, I think he got it because I took it away from someone else. Or it, I had an extra, basically. I didn't have to take it from them, it was just available. Sir, we're being hailed by the flagship of the Tashar fleet on the screen. Ah, who are you? Will you be missed by anyone after I remove you from this universe? I haven't seen her yet. Can you? Coming help from our new friends, Commander. It's your pirate. Good fight. I'm sure you're willing to turn a blind eye to a little salvage operation, aren't you? There's another hell coming in, sir. 
Always glad to offer a fellow Starfleet officer some assistance. Nimbus will be safer once the Tal Shar are gone. Colonel Hakib is hailing us again. This fight no longer interests me. Now that you've met my new allies, the Alachi, you understand just how precarious your position is. Run while you can. Why do I have two of this? It makes no sense. Oh, why did I do that? Ay ay ay, let me go. Oh dear. This ain't good. Um, speed. Yeah. Make ourselves a little faster. No! Race for impact. Oh man. Whew. We gotta heal up. Your fleet has been destroyed, sir. Nimbus 3 will be better off without their influence, as with the Roman Star Empire. Suggest we head back to the surface and wrap things up, sir. Let's go. Oh my goodness. What's been going on around here? <laughs> I've been hearing strange reports that something major went down at the satellite array in the desert. Did you have anything to do with that? It was a secret Talshiar base. I heard a Talshiar boss man showed up in response to your actions. That true? Need to worry about any Tal Shiar coming here anymore. Well, you sure know how to get things done. <laughs> People had their doubts about you, but you showed them. Hassan's gone, the Gord have been put in their place, and now the Tal Shiar too. <laughs> this keeps up, and Nimbus will be a right nice place to live. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I've got some latinum to collect from two of eight. I've been betting on you the entire time. Enjoy your winnings. Do you want information? <laughs> there we go. Oh, collect reward. I was confused. What's going on here? Uh, that. Congratulations, Commander. Okay.
same capacity. That one's higher. This is better because it's got a. It, it would. Thank you. Let me move it. Oh, it's. I'll give him that. That's field rations. Yep. Oh, that's good. Coca Cola. Stay on go. Look the berries. Bubble juice. Alrighty. Plasma projectile? Wait, is that a plasma? Quantum torpedo? No, it isn't. Tachyon deflector. I discovered I like a certain deflector array. Uh, not this one, but I'm gonna replace what's on that. Anyway, I think that's all I'm gonna replace. Uh, oh, that's refine that to lithium. And then sort, cater, cycle. That. Forgot about the tulaberry wine. Wait, I can't. I can't sell those. Then I guess I will just. What happened to my keyboard? Why is my keyboard being stupid? Uh, come on, today. Keyboard. There we go. Gods. What in the world is that? the bank over here. Some things away. solves that.
All right, next mission. Now the rest of the missions are going to make sense since I finished those missions prior to these missions. But I found out all the other missions that are replay missions, um, I can't play them in order with the rest of the story, so uh, <laughs> it's going to be a bummer. Captain, we have the Borg Sphere on sensors. There are multiple Romulan patrols in the area, yes, sir. We will need to deal with them before we can scuttle the sphere. Raise shields and set a course for the closest Romulan ship. I almost forgot about this. Oh look, we got a few things left. That, for one. That's it. Ah, oh, shoot. Not picking up any signs of Romulan ships, and there are no life signs on the sphere. Recommend destroy it now. Armed weapons. Sphere, where is it? Oh, right there. Captain, our top priority should be to find any technology or research that Romulans may have salvaged already. There is a Romulan communication satellite in this area. If we program it to transmit an emergency signal, the Romulans will send a ship here to investigate. We can hide behind that asteroid if we run minimal power. The mineral content in it should disrupt sensor readings. Once that patrol vessel arrives, we can use a reconfigured Class II probe to essentially tag the Romulan ship. Even if they cloak, We'll be able to follow the probe's energy signature. If there's a base anywhere in this region, we'll find it. Alright, let's scan this. For my main tune, who's doing most of the R&D these days. Got essentially nothing else to do until new missions show up. Excellent. Now we just need a place to hide. If we fly behind that asteroid and power down our systems, I think we should be able to avoid detection. Alright, let's go in there. Oh look, there's another thing. That way. Stop going backwards. Be careful. Ah. Oh. We can't see the ship, but... 
tag the vessel with the subspace transmitter, sir. We should be able to follow it at warp speed. has gone to warp, sir. Based on telemetry for the probe, I believe they are traveling to the Gasco system. There's a small colony on a space station there. Laying in a course to Gasco, sir. We can leave as soon as you're ready. Hold on. I want to grab that over there. Got it. All right, now let's go. Ah, uh, F one. There we go. I keep fixing myself. We have arrived in the Gasco system, sir. Scans confirm Borg technology on the station. They have detected us, sir. They are launching several ships and have activated their defenses. We have the element of surprise on our side for the moment. They are bound to call in reinforcements. Recommend we eliminate resistance and beam down to the station as quickly as possible. Agreed. That's a lot of things to fight. Dang it. Okay, come on. There we go. That's what I was going for. Major damage. Wasn't so tough. Sir, we have arrived in the Gasco station. The station is on high alert. We should expect heavy resistance. Normally, Starfleet attempts to resolve conflicts peacefully, but in this case, the security of the quadrant requires an armed response. We should interrogate any scientists we find along the way to determine where the Borg research is located. Acknowledged. Starfleet, what are you doing here? We've traced Borg technology back to this station. We intend to destroy it. Really? I sympathize. The Borg technology is creepy. We all hate it, but we don't have any choice but to work for the Tal Shar. They're holding my sister hostage to make sure I behave. She's not the only one. I'll do what I can to help. You might need to help yourself in a minute or two. Your transport was detected, and the station is on high alert. Security forces are already on their way. You don't have a chance. We have no choice. We need to stop what's happening here. 
promise you'll try to help my sister. And I'll unlock all the doors in Turbulus for you. There. She's near the medical bay. Good luck, and don't forget my sister. We'll get her out. Alright. You are you from Starfleet? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. I have no love for the Tal Shiar. But I do have a family. If I complete my work, the Tal Shiar will guarantee our safety. Perhaps we can rescue them. Uh, where are they located? Most of the families are being held in the medical bay. Medical lab. You'll need to cross the engineering level to get there. Be careful. Some of what they're working on there is quite dangerous. Really? Any use of war technology is dangerous. You're talking about devices designed to regenerate damage, replicate themselves, and assimilate anything they can reach. If we had a breach in containment, we could lose the station and everyone in it. Alright, we'll do what we can for your family. I can hear them eating this stuff. <laughs> Turn to engineering. Okay. Enemy target Did I really just... Starfleet really does a lot more going and guns blazing than the <laughs> Republic does. This research log one. Head researcher log supplemental. The Herogen upheld their end of the bargain and delivered a disabled Borg sphere to the Pilatus system. As a precaution, we have not moved the sphere from that location. I do not want to risk powering any systems that might trigger the Borg's regeneration protocols. However, I do feel it is safe to begin dismantling and analyzing the sphere's components. The Borg technology shows great promise. I believe we will be able to improve our weapons and shield technology well within the Empress's timeline. Uh, research Log 2. Work to integrate Borg components into our vessels has begun. So far, the process is proceeding as expected. We have increased the combat capabilities of our ships by upwards of 30%, and I still feel like we are barely scratching the surface. There is so much about the Borg technology I do not understand. Some of my researchers have expressed concerns over the risk of experimenting with this technology. I explained that circumstances beyond our control force us to take extreme measures. I suspect they continue to have misgivings, but they no longer share them with me. Log 3. I now share my staff's misgivings about this line of research. Incorporating Borg technology into our ships is one thing, but this Commander Navek has taken over our medical bay and is experimenting with incorporating Borg technology into our citizens. Anybody that expresses discontent with the program either disappears 
or finds their family being held hostage to ensure their cooperation. We should have never sided with the Tal Shiar, and now it's too late. Hmm. Back to the main menu. Okay, exit system. Destroy research. Who <laughs> doesn't like me time? Is this more of it? There's more around here. That's the point. Oh, here we go. is odd. I can't even begin to express my gratitude. I'm from Sereni Prime, one of the colonies that is still neutral in the conflict between the Romulan, the Republic, and the Tal Shar. Before all, before all this, I was a vocal proponent for the Republic. All I can think is that I attracted the wrong kind of attention for my outspoken be beliefs. What do you mean? One day I went for a walk on the cliffs near my settlement. I remember seeing something strange, and hearing a metallic buzzing, then everything went black. I woke up in the cell. No one will tell me where I am or why I'm here. What they do say is that I'm a test subject. They're planning on implanting me with Bork technology. I don't think anyone could be so callous, not even the Tal Shiar. We'll get you home. Normandy, one to be mom. I just... Rescue. Rescue. Can't do anything for this one, fortunately. Contact lead scientist. Oh, we got some other missions done. They're failures! Right. Hello? This is Commander Gall. I just wanted to let you know your brother is safe and aboard your aboard our ship. Thank you so much. Now allow me to assist you. These access codes will wipe our computer core, destroying all of our data. No one will be able to replicate 
what we've done here without that information. Thank you. Uh, access mainframe. Beta 241. Let's go. Uh, this one is about... I can show it after, I think. But this one it was about, uh... But, yeah, there's a number of things to it. They're freeing captives, we're stopping the Tal Shar from implementing Borg technology into their... into theirs. Yeah, into their tech. Force... stopping the forced labor they're using. <sighs> There's a number of things. So the Romulans are activating their assimilated ships. We have to destroy them. If we fire weapons at one of them, it will come all on faster, but I think I can delay their activation if we get close enough to send a command sequence. Target the nearest ship. Okay, I need to stop moving. Delay ship activation. Delay ship activation. Oh crap. The heck? Oh, I can. Am I getting all of them or what? Oh, no. the other one. Get it before it's online. Oh boy. Okay, now this one. It's a good thing I braced for impact. That should do it. I want to thank you again for rescuing me from an unpleasant fate. If I could impose on you once more, would you be willing to take me to my colony? I must deliver a report on what's happened not to our ruining our what ruling council and I'd really like to see my family again it'd be our pleasure wait 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 we got something to pick up there we go now we can leave let's go they basically summarize after uh, before and after every mission too here, we're about to get a summary. I have forwarded your mission reports and the recovered data to Starfleet Intelligence. We now know the Romulans have been researching Borg technology, 
and they were willing to risk a war with the Federation to advance their goals. There is a 76.77% chance that Starfleet will have to take action against the Romulans to prevent them from upsetting the balance of power with this research. If that occurs, I predict that we will need you and your crew to assist in averting calamity. You have done well. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Does this one have... Fight speed fast enough. So I Congratulations, have Commander. Takela, the survivor you rescued from Demora Station, has provided some very interesting information about both the Tall Shar and the new race with which they've allied. Meanwhile, the Romulan Republic and neutral colonies are continuing to report mysterious abductions. We believe these two events are related. Takela wants to go home to her colony on Serini Prime. The colony there has remained independent from both the remains of the Romulan Star Empire and the burgeoning Romulan Republic. That puts them in a delicate balancing act. We thought taking Takela home could be a good opportunity to figure out what's happening behind the scenes of the Romulan conflict. We would like you to go to Serini Prime and investigate. Ready. I have new mi Okay, that's it. Now I can uh, actually check some things. Well, that's cool. And this is way better. If it would stop doing that, that is annoying. Ugh. Give her some food. What's this? Phaser compression pistol. So I'm just gonna... Also, who's... Tmet, Tmet, Tmet. Wait, no. It's gonna be stations. Here we are. Are you serious? Oh, no. Five bridge off for candidates. Okay, so I have this one. Science officer. It's got... Tachyon beam 2. Gravity well 1. And this human science officer, science team one. Jam targeting sensors. You know, what I think I want that one. The targeting sensors. Crate manual. Jam targeting sensors to choose manual. Okay. Now some bridge officers you can use just to get manuals, and then you can teach your bridge officers the skills you want them to have, like this. Stations. This one. Boom. That's better. Only two of the same thing. That is ridiculous. Alright. Applicator. Recycle. That. That. Both. That. That. Large one I keep for other things. Find that lithium, there we go. And now we can start the next mission. Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. Space points, let's start on... Control, extreme strain, targeting. They already start on these. Yeah, I think so. Heck yeah. Scientists are adapting Borg technology to suit their own needs. A Federation crew, caught in an impossible situation, fights to survive. But help may not arrive in time. Who will heed their desperate call? In their anguish, the Romulans could cause a greater tragedy than even they imagine.
That's interesting. Make the voices easier to hear. <laughs> Captain, we've arrived in the Sereni Sereni system. This is supposed to be a neutral colony, but I'm detecting multiple Romulan Star Empire ships, as well as a shield wall surrounding the planet. If this is a blockade, they're very serious about keeping people out. The warbirds are arming weapons, sir. We might have a fight if we want to return our guests to our colony. Speaking of which, to Kayla, would you like a word? Patch your throat. I can't thank you enough for returning me. It looks like the Roblin Star Empire has been busy while I was away. They were already lobbying our council to join them. But Romulan Republic envoys are there as well. Now the Empire is blockading the planet, probably to prevent information like ours from reaching our leaders. The shield wall is new. I guess the Talshar constructed it. You should be careful. Isn't... It isn't the first time we've run afoul of the Romulan Star Empire. This planet is protected by the Romulan Star Empire. State your business. I'm returning a citizen to her home world. Indeed, identify the citizen. Bye. We have no record of that colonist. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. I don't think so. Shields failing. go. Let's beam down.
I can't believe I finally made it home. Thank you. I never thought I'd see this place again. I would give you the grand tour, such as it is, but I need to get back to my family. I never thought I'd see them again either. You should talk to a representative from our council. Follow the path ahead and it will lead you to our central square. There should be someone you can speak with there. Welcome home. Lack of voice acting is a little troubling here. Figured more of these, they used to have more voices, even if they had random people voicing them. Right. Jolan True, and welcome to Serini Prime. Oh, thank you for returning to Kella to us. I'm sure her family is pleased she is safe. However, you have arrived at an interesting time. I was just preparing to meet with representatives from the Romulan Star Empire and the Romulan Republic. Each are urging our colony to join their faction. We've done our best to stay out of the conflict until now, but I fear we will soon be forced to take a side. We've met with one of the Empire's representatives in orbit, and they tried to destroy my ship. Yes, the Empire has a way of offering assistance that feels more like a threat. They offered security services for my world, and I could not risk refusing them. And, to be fair, there have been no abductions since the fleet began protecting the planet. Abductions? A number of our citizens went missing in the weeks before the Empire arrived. The Empire blames the Republic, of course, but I think Sila likes to blame them for a lot of things. There's no evidence they are responsible, however. In fact, <laughs> there's no evidence at all. And I think that if the Republic were behind these kidnappings, they would leave some trace behind. If you would care to speak to the representatives, I would be interested in hearing what your opinion of them is. Oh, honored by your request. Who am I talking to? Okay. That's the Republic Envoy. The Empire Envoy. You're not welcome here, Starfleet. The Counselor feels differently. She asked me to speak with you and give her my opinion. But she is a fool. Federation are allies of the terrorists who seek to destroy what remains of the, our glorious empire. You will do nothing here but sow dissent and unrest. I also know that you destroyed a ship protecting this planet, with callous disregard for the safety of the citizens of this colony. I have nothing more to say to a murderer. He left me no choice. You had no choice. Those words have been the excuse of monsters since time immemorial. Sure. On the chance, however, the Council is foolish enough to be swayed by your biased opinions, I will explain that the Romulan Star Empire is Serenity Prime's only hope for peace and stability. We alone possess the military strength and operational effectiveness to keep this planet safe. The terrorists from the Republic can only offer them a portion of their own loss and suffering. The Empress has already sent ships to defend this colony. That is evidence of our intentions. Your intentions are clear. I think I've heard enough. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. What can I do for you? What's your mission here? My intent was to speak to the Council about the advantages of joining the Republic. Fortunately, I arrived before the blockade and the Council has extended their protection to me. Otherwise, I'd probably be on my way to one of the Tau Shiar's prison facilities by now. The Empress likes to hide her threats in a few layers of deception and lies. 
it can be difficult for a peaceful world like Serenity Prime to resist. But if we all stick together, we will be able to rise up and defeat the Tal Shar once and for all. You have ambitious goals. Good luck. Well, what did you think of them? Uh, I can't tell you what your colony should do. Follow your heart and your instincts. An interesting perspective. Thank you for your suggestion. Our most convincing evidence comes from a survivor of Viranat. And if his story can be believed, he says he knows who is behind these abductions. You should speak to him before you leave. He's behind that building. I'll listen to his story. Not sure why the whole away team is with me here. But something is gonna go down while I'm here. Yes, I was at Viranat. My family died there. My friends. It wasn't it wasn't terrorists who destroyed my home, and it certainly wasn't the Republic. It was the Tal Shiar, their friends. But you don't have to take my word for it. Veronet has been abandoned since the attack. Go see what our Empress does to her people. Sorry for your loss. Okay, let's go. Yep. I didn't need my whole away team. What the heck was that about? Could have gone down there by myself. Force locked in for Viranet. However, there are Rom in the ship's decloaking. They're hailing us. On screen. Commander, your presence here is unauthorized. Furthermore, we have evidence that you had a role in the destruction of the IW Ray and the deaths of her crew. Lower your shields. Sorry, it didn't work out. It didn't work the first time. So there's a Rom in the Republic vessel here as well. They're hailing us. I'll put them on screen. You appear to have run afoul of the Tal Shiar. Do you require assistance? I could use help, yeah. Shar will no longer trouble you. Do you require anything else? That's all. Thanks. So I recommend we cross the shield barrier and exit the system before Talshar reinforcements arrive. Yep. Let's go. Uh, yeah, go. I don't know why it just keeps that up there when it just says the same thing over and over again. Wait. Let's go. We've arrived in the Viranet system. Sensors are detecting no signs of activity in the system, not even satellites. For a once populated world, the sensor silence is eerie. Porsche for the planet. Sir, this debris appears to be from a Romulan vessel. It's old, but it took some heavy energy weapon hits before it was destroyed. You don't normally see battles like this near agricultural colonies.
this appears to be the debris from a vessel of unknown configuration. However, the energy signatures conform to the limited information we have about the Alachi. There's not enough here for the ship to have been destroyed, sir. Whatever it was, it probably survived this battle. This could be the mysterious enemy the survivors talk about. Could it be Alachi? We need more information. They're detecting a vessel. Wait, there's nothing there. Must have been a sensor echo. To grab the tea. Ah, oh, take a sip of this tea. Stretch before we beam down. I didn't let that thing expire, did I? Oh, stretch. Mm, Alright, let's go. Oh, my head. Ah. Oh. Sheesh. These used to be more like missions. I mean, missions. Um, these used to be more like seasons. I mean, like a set of missions was like it was more like a sea, more like a season before now. They have like fewer missions in these seasons now, but they used to be more like seasons. They used to have like ten to twelve missions per season. It's crazy. They got rid of a lot of missions, and I have no idea why. <laughs> they also got rid of something else called the Foundry. But I know why they got rid of that. Pretty much, yeah. Let's look at this. Here are the episodes. That's one season. That's another. That's another. That's another. I remember this one having a whole lot more to it. This had at least 12, probably. But they cut it down. You know, and then another season, another season, another season, and so on. Each of these are seasons of their own. Uh, there's a lot right now. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 17 seasons for this type of character, because you start with the uh, history one, and then you go along with the rest of the Federation missions, normal Federation missions. It goes straight to 2409, and then you're just Federation character, basically. Um, Romulan, or, or Republic characters, have a different set of beginning missions, and then they end up, like, this is within their beginning missions. And then after the couple more seasons then you end up with like this and this and the rest of this I haven't played as a Klingon character yet so I don't know what they exactly what they do but I, I think they have a, a couple of seasons of their own and then they just start uh, around this time <laughs> this might be the third season or something like that so different uh, factions do have different sets of missions they did some of the missions I got rid of are really cool. I was looking at my uh, main character, who is I've I've had since 2012, and I looked back at the beginning and like what the tutorial used to be and all the older missions that that I went through before, and I was just like, oh man, they changed so much. I'm also able to see certain missions listed on that character that I can't see on any other character. on uh on the episode list uh available episode lists yeah i got all of these from the wasteland that's why i'm doing this one now because this takes place before wasteland but the other ones i won't be able to do until i'm max level which doesn't make sense to me it's like cause some of them take place before certain seasons like before this one 
or right after. Somewhere between these, I should be able to do some Deferi missions, but I don't think I will be, because I have to be max level to get the, to open it. Even start them. Stupid. Doesn't make sense. No, not in progress. Available. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing the, the missions I need, the starting missions, and I should be able to get them from, um, Mr. Admiral Jura Quinn here. Right now, all he has is missions for the latest content. Yeah, and other, other things, like a firewall. Nothing that has to do with... Oh, wait a second. Is that part of the... Yeah, it is. See? So it's only showing me what's already in the setup, but it's not giving me options for... Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Kinda, kinda sucky. Ugh, they did. <sighs> and it was all before they even changed hands, too. It used to be owned by Perfect World, and when Perfect World owned it, they're the ones who skimmed a lot of missions off. But now Gearbox actually has the ownership of Star Trek Online. Cryptic still develops it, but Gearbox is like the publisher. Perfect World used to be the publisher that owned it, but I guess since it's a Chinese company, people got suspicious of Chinese companies having intellectual properties from the US, so they handed over the rights to Gearbox instead. I don't know if it, it... Gearbox hasn't really done anything lately with it, except for the Terran missions that I've seen. Which aren't bad. They're actually not that bad. So I think they've, they're doing better than Perfect World so far. <laughs> Perfect World just started doing a lot of, uh, what was it? Catering. Just catering. Mostly just catering, and it was getting old. Uh-oh. We got some enemies nearby. This place is destroyed, Captain, but the damage is only a few months old. Not detecting any humanoid life signs. However, there are several insect life forms around the area. We should be cautious. Yep, yeah, right there. Look at that. One shot. Get him. Of a massive. Oh shoot, look at that. There's a outline of something right there. Oh, that's crazy. How did that happen? Go get him. <laughs> Alright. Squash the bugs. recently learned that there's a way to change my target. Oh, there's another one. A 
If I hit tab, it actually changes what, what I'm targeting. That's something that's been a point of frustration for a while, because I'll be targeting something that's like way in front of way out in front of me instead of something closer if something's getting right up to me. So I started uh yeah, just hitting different buttons and discovered the tap button. I was like, that's useful. Now I know. Tab. Um. Oh, there we go. This crater was created by an orbital strike from a plasma weapon of Romion origin. Since it is doubtful the colony destroyed themselves, it could only have been Talshiar. There's something over here. It's a windmill blade, Captain. Many of the Romulan colonies are using alternative power supplies such as these. With the damage to the blade, though, the structure withstood several explosive blasts of extremely high power. We have a sample for analysis. <laughs> yeah, it's a... <laughs> I'm like, is there no way for me to change it? I've been playing this game for over 10 years and didn't remember that. Or didn't even know that I could just hit tab to switch targets. I'm like, ugh. I don't think it really became an issue until recently, though. Wait a second. Whatever I'm looking for is... Back here. Shit. Uh, it's not over here. Oh look, there's... A messed up body here. Sir, although this colonist died of a plasma weapon discharge, her tissues appear to be infected with some kind of fungal spores. The bio readings I am getting are somewhat similar to some of the readings from the prisoners on Installation 18. This is why we do Installation 18 and all the that wasteland mission before this set of missions because it consists. <laughs> it 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 lines up like that. The evidence of Alachi involvement is mounting. Take a take a sample. Okay, that's what I was looking for over here. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Squash the bugs. Really nothing but bugs out here. <laughs> yeah, like just pointing and clicking on certain things. That's another way you can do it. There's another body that's been vaporized. Look at that. evidence. I think this device is some kind of beacon, but it doesn't conform to any technology I'm familiar with. However, the components seem to match some of the equipment we discovered on Installation 18. Again, with Installation 18, which is the last mission we did before doing this. It's why you do these in order. Get a full scan. Starfleet will want to review our findings. And those used to be part of the main mission line too. Some of the missions that you find in that available mission space 
used to be part of the main seasons. But now they're all... Now they're separated. Their own thing. That's significantly dehydrated. I wonder what would have done that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look. There's something here. It's a flower. What a lovely flower. I wonder who planted it. We'll probably never know. Interesting. This is a random little thing. I will bet... It was planted by your Romulan Republic player. Something I completely skipped over, I guess. On that one. There's a lot of them over here. Look at that. One, two, three, right in this one area. Here we are. Welcome, guest. You have one message from Empress Seelit. Would you like to play it now? message citizens of the empire it is with great sorrow that i report the destruction of our colony in the viranat system by the terrorist insurgents known as the romulan republic i believe most of the residents of viranat were loyal subjects of the empire who were unaware of the terrorist cell hidden amongst their homes and families their deaths are a tragedy Whatever. When the Tal Shiar attempted to remove the insurrectionists and save Veranat and its people, the Romulan Republic destroyed the entire colony rather than submit to the lawful authority of my forces. I grieve for the loss of innocent life. Sure you do. Rest assured that those responsible will be found and punished for their crimes against the Romulan people. Viranat will not be forgotten. Uh huh. Sure. Now that's very curious. Captain, a ship from an unknown configuration has decloaked and his army weapons. Recommend you and the away team return to the Normandy immediately. Let's go. This is a scout ship, Captain. We drove it off, but I'm expecting reinforcements at any moment. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed.
Ha! It blew up right before it could fire off that weapon. <laughs> nice. Captain, we're receiving a priority subspace transmission from the Star for the Command. Do you want me to put it on the main screen? Yes. To all Starfleet vessels, our allies in the Romulan Republic are under attack by the Tall Shar. All combat-ready vessels are ordered to report to New Romulus immediately. Individual orders to follow. Open a channel. Thank you for responding so quickly. Your orders are to rendezvous with Battle Group 5 at Viranat and proceed to New Romulus to reinforce our vessels there. The battle is already underway. Run away, Admiral. We're already at Viranat. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there they are. Glad to have you here. Let's get to New Romulus. Oh, hello, Sean. Let's go. We are grateful beyond words for your help. You have arrived in the nick of time. New Romulus does not have the developed orbital defenses necessary to repel such an attack, and Admiral Kerarek is calling for as many ships as possible to defend the planet. The flotilla protecting the planet has been pushed back by the enemy assault. They are at their final line now. They need your help. Battle Glad stations. you could join us. Concentrate fire on their command ship. Holy moly. This is madness. Oh no. Let's not fly into that. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. This ain't good, this ain't good, this ain't good. Oh, come on. We gotta heal, heal, heal. Let us go, let us go, let us go. Dang it! No! Ooh. Woo! Just in the nick of time. Oh my goodness. Get out of the way. We can heal. Woo! better warning ship is under attack target shields have failed Oh! Oh! 
Nope. Let go. Uh oh. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Aha! You missed! Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, crap! Ow! Ah, oh, no, no! Hey, wait, no, stop! No! No! Damn it! Oh, I almost had it! Seriously! Why does it take so long? We can focus more on defense here. Good call. Are you serious? I'm moving so slowly. Why am I moving this slow? Oh, because I'm set for defense, that's why. Ah, oh, my neck. is taking way longer than it should.
Mm. Prioritize attack a little more. There we go. Doing a little more damage now. Ow. Why is it taking so long to beat it? I think I know why. I need help. Come on, fire off the torpedoes. Rear shields failing. Uh oh. Let's go fast. Bring them back this direction. Hull integrity. Oh, crap. Target shields have failed. Whew. Warning. Ship is under attack. What? Will not let me. They won't let up. Shield have Ow. What was that? Rear shield failing. Prioritize attack.
Oof. Alright, evasive maneuvers. Brace for impact was handy. All right, let's go a little faster. Oh, we need more defense. Holy moly. Oh. Get out of there. Ah, they still hit. Oh no. We're already on the defensive. Holy moly. What? Go help the IKS King over here. They were boarded. All right, that's another one down. Holy moly. There's been a lot of close calls. Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed.
Oh crap. It missed. Ow. How dare. Excuse me. Stop sending those stupid boarding parties. Oi. Stop with that crap. Get out, get out, get out! Crap! You gotta be kidding me! Uh, I hate them. What? Why am I auto firing? Should not be a thing. Speed, let's go. I'm trying to get closer to these warbirds over here. I can get some help. Arrgh! Get off my tail! your help, buddy. Is under Hull integrity below 75%. Rear shields failing. Ah.
Holy moly. Being held by the Republic. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, thank you for your assistance today. You have saved our world from destruction. You cannot begin to repay these deeds you have performed today. But know that your names will go down in history. Honor to be of service. Hold on. Let's finish off the rest of them. I think we're not... We're gonna leave without finishing off the rest of them? Come on. That's more like it. Now we can leave. <laughs> yeah, let's go. There are bridge officer abilities right here that that do certain things. Oh, you mean like over the all Romulan repair? Only on higher difficulties. For your assistance in saving their homeworld. We now know the race you encountered there is called the Elachi, and they are the Tall Shah's new allies. From what you found on Viranak and what they tried to do at New Romulus, I'd say that whatever they're doing, it's not in our best interests. The Republic is continuing to search for clues to reveal what exactly is happening to the people being abducted by the Alachi. You, however, may be set to a different task. Obviously. I don't want any of these. Well, except maybe this. I have new missions for you. Oh. Got duty officers. The cause of the supernova uh. that destroyed Romulus remains a mystery. Our allies in the Romulan Republic have a theory on the matter, however. They believe that Taurus, the former praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, is responsible. Republic forces attempted to apprehend her, but she escaped through an Iconian gateway. Recently, the Republic has discovered new information that could help us track down Taurus. We want you to rendezvous with the RRW Lisette and provide any assistance you can. All right. I have new missions. I uh, collect that. Yeah, there are these things you can get, but I don't have any right now. There's things called minor components, and, um... Yeah, there's, there's components and regenerators and stuff, and you can use them on your ship. But your ship only takes, like, permanent damage if you're on a higher difficulty. If you play these, let's see... There's a way to... Uh, it's not here, is it? Uh, where do I go to change difficulty? Progress. Oh, oh yeah, I'm on normal difficulty. Really? Yeah. So on advanced or elite difficulty, you actually... Um, your ship takes like damage overall. And there are components or items in the game that allow you to heal that damage. Um, but yeah, during fights normally, um, on normal difficulty, they don't. It's just the bridge officer abilities that can heal during the battle. Yeah. No! Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, how do you like that? Let's see, how much damage to do? 2599 kinetic damage. Our ping is still stronger. Stronger than the other plasma torpedo, so I'll replace that. This is my favorite deflector array. Yes! The neutrino deflector array. I like this one. That's the kind I like. It's, uh... It adds to hull capacity, shield capacity, and then other things. Control expertise, uh, drain expertise, and starship perception. I think it's the one I like. I can check R&D and see if it is. Um, oh wow. Why do you have phaser dual cannons? Can these go on the back? Nope, it's a, it's a four weapon, so I can't go in the back. But what I could do, right, I could take this and replace that old thing. Then take this and put it in the front. Yeah, like that. There we go. I no longer have this weird, this weird old thing. And the bits. Oh my gosh, I'm so distracted by the game. <laughs> right. Of course, my uh, notification kind of uh, really says a lot about it. How do you like that one, huh? Ah, man, my head. Yeesh. No, only two and a half hours. I might go a little longer. Um, yeah, let me see what I can recycle here. Oh, I can get rid of that. Oh, get rid of those. That. That. That old thing. And that's it. Okay, I want to use that so that I have more duty officers. I have a bartender and a diplomat. Awesome. Lots of this. Let me access my bank so I can put that away. And that bank so I can put that away. That is a ship we might use much later. Um, to be honest, I don't know why I'm keeping all these. Good. Wait. I should have more of these. I do. There we go. Then it goes to the R and D character, and, or the character I'm using for R and D. That is. There we go. Now I have more space here. Goody. Go to our next mission. We've arrived in the Hoba system. We're being held by the Lasset. It is a pleasure to be working with you. I heard about how you got your first command. Well done. Not every officer could have stood up to the Borg like you did. Well, pleasure is my commander. Agents working for the Romulan Republic have recovered definite proof that Taurus, or persons working for Taurus, were responsible for the Hobus supernova that destroyed the homeworld. Our agent spoke to Taurus. She claimed that she was deceived by Hakiv. But that does not excuse her culpability in the destruction of two inhabited worlds and the deaths of millions. That rhymed. Our 
agent tells us that Taurus believes her Iconian masters can change the past and restore Romulus. So not only is she a killer, she's insane. I know who the agent is. Anyway, what do you suggest we do about her? Taurus cannot be allowed to commit even greater crimes in an attempt to fix her mistake. My intelligence officer, Lieutenant Gaius Salon, has intercepted communications that may allow us to locate Taurus and finally bring her to justice. I'll let him explain in greater detail. All right. Greetings. I am Lieutenant Gaius Salon of the Romulan Republic. There are certain pleasantries that are customary in these circumstances. However, I'm choosing to skip those. We have much to do. Recently, the Republic intercepted a transmission from a group of Remans in the Hobus system. These Remans have remained loyal to Taurus, the former Praetor of the Romulan Star Empire, who was deposed by Sela. While the transmission was not unusual, its origin point was. The Hobus system is under strict quarantine. However, a previous team uncovered a mining facility at one of the planetary fragments. We believe that the Riemann loyalists may have returned to this facility to continue their efforts. Why is it under quarantine? The Hobus system is the origin point of the supernova and subsequent subspace explosion which destroyed Romulus and Remus. It is still, as you say, a hot zone. The Riemanns loyal to Taurus are using the quarantine as a cover to resume their operations in the system. The transmission we intercepted was addressed to Commander Aranhu. A Riemann who is the captain of Taurus's personal guard. He must be the liaison to the forces in the Hobus system. And what's your suggestion? The direct approach. If we confront the forces in the Hobus system, who are in violation of both Federation and Romulan Republic mandates by their very presence there, they will send a call for assistance to Commander Aranhu. Once he arrives, we simply follow him. It is likely that he will lead us back to Taurus. All right. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've just received emergency orders from Republic Command and must respond. Gaius can transport to your ship and help you complete the mission. We'll return as soon as we can. All right. I am detecting some very rare minerals in the system as well as the presence of protomatter. It is possible that Taurus used the materials here to construct her weapon. Planetoid's core contains trace signs of protomatter, sir. We should get a sample. Scanners are also picking up some odd readings from some of the icy asteroids near the core. Recommend we investigate them as well. Sir, these fragments are decalithium. If we can locate a supply of tecosite, that means Taurus could have had all the ingredients she needed to build the device right in this system. It is still circumstantial evidence, unless we can tie it. Her. We can tie it her to directly somehow. Wow, they really muddled the words there. Collecting a sample would be crucial. I recommend that we scan for tecosite deposits. Retrieve a sample and set course for the next fragment. What?
Oh. That was easy. See some other ingredients around here. Sir, I'm detecting high levels of tekasite in this planetary fragment. Tekasite was one of the substances Starfleet believes was used in the creation of the weapon that triggered the Hobus supernova. As I suspected, the materials are all here. Our agent located Taurus on planetary fragment Gamma. We should continue our search there. I'm gonna get these first. For my R&D, or my uh, main character who's been doing some R&D lately. He does all the R&D for all my other characters. Rarely has missions to go on, so he needs something to do. Scanners are detecting some kind of shield covering a large crater on the surface of the planetary fragment Gamma count. The system is supposed to be under quarantine, but clearly there is some activity. We should get a scan of the shield. Oh. Okay. Sir, by our scans triggered automated defense systems. The Riemann ship is decloaking. They're hailing us. What? Answer hail. Your presence here is a violation of the quarantines established by at least three sovereign governments. Explain your purpose. We're here investigating your unauthorized presence in the system. What's your excuse? I serve the Romulan Star Empire and its true leader, Taurus. That is the only authorization I require. That's most unfortunate. <laughs> so if we can disable... The ship, it's possible we may be able to lure out the Aranhu to investigate. Let's do it. Warning, ship is under attack.
Four shields failing. energy signature. If we hide in the asteroids near it and mask our energy signature, I predict that Aran who will approach to investigate further and be unable to. Interesting. This is exactly like Scenario 2247B. I thought Scenario 1849K would be a more likely option. I shall incorporate this data into my modeling projections. Nevertheless, we should now be able to follow Aranhu's trail. He should lead us right to Taurus. Let's hope so. Let's follow it. What? Commander Ranhu's trail led here to the Iconia system. This is another system that's off limits to normal traffic. So any activity here is a cause for concern. Recommend we investigate. That large crater looks like looks a likely place to start. Hold on. There's some more stuff here. Not detecting Ranhu's ship. Would it be an orbit somewhere? Is most likely cloaked to the technology that I use to track him. He's not localized enough. I didn't catch the whole thing. Um. Oh. Oh, that's weird. I didn't catch the the other NPC chatter. We're picking up large shield protecting a structure of some type. The shield is using a mo modified cloaking device. If I hadn't been scanning for large amounts of tachyon particles, I would have never found it. Raven ships decloaking, they're hailing us. Federation ship, I am Commander Shanklado of the Raven starship Indraku. Your presence here could be considered an act of war. Leave immediately, or we will open fire. We're not leaving that easily. That is unfortunate, Starfleet. Our conflict is not with you. Commander Arahu has charged me with securing this installation at all costs. Praetor Taras must be allowed to complete her work. And you have already seen too much. Red alert. There. Warning. Ship is under attack. Are you serious? Ah, oh, got too far away. Dang it. Warning, 
Ah! Let me go. Ooh, that took care of that. Ow. What? Four shields failing. Hull integrity below seventy five percent. Less shields failing. Rear shields failing. Whew. Seriously? How come I don't have any of the abilities I usually have at this point? That help me out, like Photonic Fleet! Where's all my abilities? We should be able to use them to lower the shield and reach the surface. All right, transmit the codes. Because that Lieutenant Salam procured, we have lowered the base of shields. That will allow us to transport an away team to the structure underneath the surface. Hold on. Pick up that item. Hold on. There we go. Now we'll go. <laughs> Sheesh! Let me pick up the items first. These are the coordinates for the underground structure we detected. Reading life sign, sir. Multiple Remans and one Romulan. Our quarry could be just ahead. Let's hope so. Oh. I need your help with the gateway. Send your guards. They appear to have been attempting to merge Iconian and Romulan technology. Perhaps in an attempt to reactivate the gateway network. We should access that console and attempt to open the door. All right, let's get that. Access shipping logs. 
There are logs here of shipments to and from the base in the Hobus system, as well as schematics for several devices that are similar to recovered Iconian technology. According to the data, there also are stores of Tekasite, Decalithium, and Protomatter on this level. These stores have the same quantum signatures as the elements you recovered from the Hobus system. You quickly download the data to your tricorder, and this could be invaluable if Taurus is brought to trial. Personal log. It has been decades, and I still find how Key's betrayal difficult to accept. He is Romulan. Treachery is his heritage, as it is mine. But to go to such lengths, to destroy our world, oh, it is too much to bear, even now. He told me the device would destroy Donatra, and I, like a fool, believed him. And now, those pathetic refugees from the Republic have told the entire Quadrant that I am responsible for the destruction of Romulus. They don't understand. We should be allies. We want the same thing. At least my people know the truth. A Ron who is a rock. I find it strange that Remans are now my only companions. Perhaps they understand loyalty more than any of us. I rely on him to help me continue my work. The Iconians can restore all that is lost. I know it. I just need to make them see that I am worthy. The Dark Masters have responded to my pleas for assistance with dread silence. My only recourse is to harness their technology for myself. When I can step through the gateway and meet them as an equal, I am confident that they will turn back time and make everything as it was before. The base in the Hobus system is lost to me, but the quarantine holds. A Ron who can use it as cover to collect the protomatter and bring it back to me. Sila is looking for me. So is the Republic. If only I could make them see. I am our people's last hope. Interesting. Unlock blast doors. Sigma A12. Oh, that isn't it. Row 932. No? Fine. Psi 816. Uh, Omicron 212. Yes! That was a total guess. in the world? I have it. What? No! Traitors! Hey! I know what that is. That's what I thought. Enough! You have won. And in winning, you have doomed the Romulan people. Tars, under the authority of Starfleet, you were under arrest for war crimes, committing an act of genocide, and crimes against the galaxy. They were not my crimes. I was betrayed by Haki. Now those crimes will never be undone. I hope you realize that in stopping me, you 
have doomed billions of Romulans to remain dead. Now you shall live with that guilt, as I have. Even now, you deny the truth of your role in the destruction of your people. You were blinded by your own lust for power, and you killed those people as surely as if you had pulled the trigger yourself. Normandy, lock onto Taurus and beam her directly to the brig. Before we leave, may I suggest we look for evidence of the materials we discovered at Hobus? Uh, they will undoubtedly prove vital at Taurus' trial. We should also overload the gateway, make certain it can never be used again. Agreed. Select Hobus Supernova Evidence. Sir, this protomatter appears to come from the Hobus system. Although there are several uses for protomatter, it is often used for explosive devices. It was also present in the debris from the device that triggered the Hobus Supernova. Protomatter was used in the Genesis device, powerful but extremely dangerous. I keep getting clicking on my end. I don't know what that's all about. This tachycyte contains energy signatures that correspond to the tachycyte deposits we scanned in the Hobus system. Tachycyte is an explosive compound Starfleet believes was present in the device that triggered the Hobus supernova. If it's here, it could be connected. Decalithium appears to have come from the same source as the decalithium we discovered in the Hobus system. These links will be important evidence in Taurus's trial. The evidence is stacking up, isn't it? Interact, what's that? Oh, there's nothing there. That's weird. Sir, the gateway has been programmed to overload. There's no way to stop it. We need to return to the Normandy before that happens. Let's go. Taurus is in the brig, Captain, and all the evidence we found has been logged and secured. Now we just need to deliver it and her to a safe location. Of course, out of the system. Eh? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nice to see you again. I feel like we are becoming old friends. I will admit that your previous attempts to thwart my plans have been irritating, but your actions today have more than made up for those petty annoyances. Taurus still has her loyalists among my people. An open move against her would have been a distraction from my greater plans. I don't work for you. But you played the pawn perfectly. I could not have asked for a more obedient tool. Now, if you will transport Terrace to my ship, we can avoid any unpleasantness. I will never be friends with you, Sila. The Lissette informed us that you might need some assistance with the prisoner transport. Good thing we brought some backup. Thanks, Sean. Taurus is wanted by the Romulan Star Empire for high treason and war crimes against the Romulan people. The Empire is the legitimate government of the Romulan people, and I demand you turn this terrorist over for trial and punishment. 
Tarsus' actions did not just impact Romulus and Romulan worlds. Her alleged crimes were against the entire quadrant. You will be welcome to attend and even testify at her trial, or perhaps we could establish an interplanetary tribunal of those impacted by the Hoba Supernova, but for now she will remain in Starfleet custody. You are a disappointment. Nevertheless, you did remove Taurus from the game, and for that I am grateful. Consider your decisions more carefully the next time we meet. I can be a powerful ally, or I can be your worst enemy. You're not the kind of ally I need. Prisoner transfer successful. Taurus is safely secured in the brig. We can take it from here. One more thing. We're detecting some unusual energy residue from the surface. Our databases identify it as Iconian. Yes, there was, an, there was a gateway on the surface. A group of Remans used it to escape. Do you have any idea where they went? We only caught a glimpse, but it looked like some kind of Romulan station. Well, the set is decloaking. They're hailing us. All right. Looks like we missed all the excitement, but I have been monitoring your progress. On behalf of the Romulan Republic, I would like to thank you and your crew for your assistance. I am confident that the Federation will provide more than adequate security for Taurus until her trial can be arranged. You can transport Gaius back to the Lisette as soon as you are ready. Pleasure. Transporter room, you could to send Lieutenant Salon back to the Lisette. And finally we get to leave. Wait a second. I see something. I want that. All right, let's go. We have much to consider. If the destruction of the Romulan homeworld was a deliberate act, not only was it mass murder, but that one event has been a major cause of the destabilization of the Quadrant over the past 40 years, not to mention the light that it casts on the internal struggles of the Romulan people. This one horrible act set off a chain of reactions that could change the galaxy forever. We must know who did this and why. The interrogation of Taurus will no doubt lead to many truths. But I am troubled by these Remans. Why did they turn on Taurus? And where did they go? Rechindra it. Oh, but it's got a lower shield capacity. Um, yeah, mine's at 31.18. What about for this? This shuttle. Metal. It's better. Wait, no, it's not. 1170 uh, versus 1875. Damn it, why is it always worse? What about just a regular regenerative shield array? It's also not any better. What the heck? What about the Normandy shields? It's better than that one, so I'll get it for the Normandy. I have new missions for you. The Romulans had Damn a it. known as the Vault that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet Intelligence believes that someone is bringing the Vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Hakona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. 
All right. I have new missions for. I changed her voice apparently. Is this one better than what's on the shuttle? No. Why? Why is this one better? It's just a plain shield array, but it's got 1,875 shield capacity. Well, this one's got 1,687. What the heck? That makes no sense. <laughs> this is a higher quality one. And it's got a lower shield capacity? What? Make it make sense. I can't use it for consoles. Couple things actually. Yeah. That gives me even more dilithium. Alright. Oh, and we got a rank up. Here we go. Not rank, but level up. Let's up this. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot about the last one of these. I should definitely up that at some point. Next level. Um. Next. Mission. Ugh, oh, hold on. is a public instance. So this one has other players in it. Not a lot though, but... Let me down. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout fighter or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. All right. Also, Republic Intelligence will be sending one of their best with you on this operation, Commander Telmera. She's been fully briefed and will transport to your vessel as soon as you're ready to depart for Hakona. I trust this won't be a problem. Not at all. Any questions? No. Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck. All right. Size doesn't matter. Speak with shuttle information officer in the shipyard. Ay, ay, ay. I have to do this part, even though I already have a shuttle. <laughs> Gee, why are they 
So sick over there. Let's get another. Really? Really? Was that necessary? Was that necessary? I didn't get any more, uh, things from them. Next one. Here we are. Oh, well, let's customize Starship. Let's requisition ship equipment. Let's shuttle information. Wait. Is that who I talked to? Result. Yeah, it is. Result to report to you. I can provide you with the necessary information on shuttle shuttles general. So feel free to ask whatever you wish. When you're ready to actually claim your shuttle, you will need to speak with the ship and shuttle requisition officer. All right. I can leave now. <laughs> Uh, no. I'm going to visit the bridge and do this like this. Engineering or crew deck? I think it's engineering. It's engineering. Alright, so to get my shuttle ready. So let's go and get that shuttle ready. Oh, I can't ready it here? Uh... Oh, set active, small craft. There we go. That's how you do it. And now... I'll see you later. Nope. Not beaming down. Look at that, it's a tiny. 1986, the Challenger. The <laughs> Challenger shuttle. Are those really the abilities I want on this shuttle? Let me see. Oh, oh, no, oh, wrong button. Station, small craft. Met. I don't have any other science officers. Oh, that's the only one that can be there then. Uh, how about. Oh. For this one, I want Darwin as the officer here because he has that. That'll that'll heal the ship when I need it. Need to heal it. All right, let's go. Transwarp and the Delta Flyer. Hope we don't turn into salamanders. <laughs> you probably get that if you ever watch Voyager. I can't even see my shuttle behind the... the thing. Oh man. I can hardly see it, actually. Alright. Start this mission. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. 
Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense. It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station, and it may become difficult to find an entry point. to avoid them fly way up or way below I'll go overhead see and we avoid them like that completely avoid detection Looks like they left this satellite as a communications booster for their short-range worker shuttles. Unfortunately, it's heavily encrypted. We could use this to boost our own communications, but that doesn't seem to offer any way in to the station itself. Oh, there's another thing. What's with the weird ticking noise I'm getting? <sighs> Seriously, what is that? I'm looking for. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently, a containment failure in the engine core led to a massive radiation surge. The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. It looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Although the vessel's engine core is a total loss, some of the backup computer systems were left intact. This vessel was used to deploy some of the tachyon detection satellites around the vault. There's a copy of the network algorithm in the computer memory. If we put the tachyon satellites along the final meridian into maintenance mode, we can create a gap in the detection grid that will let us slip through. If we can get close to the base without passing through the detection grid, we should be able to put a satellite into maintenance mode. Then that will give us a gap that will allow us to slip into the station itself undetected. Oh, let's examine an asteroid near a navigational beacon. I light in the maintenance mode. Let's, oh, let's go.
still getting weird popping uh, popping noise. Approaching the Tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. The satellite's in maintenance mode. We can pass through the net. We made it. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. We've tripped some security systems. Warning, ship is under attack. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. There's a security code in its subsystem, code block 6750. The security key is on a rotation. Each code block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Trying a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that code, so be careful with the timing. Waiting for it. There, we have a match. That's it. Well done. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. Microgravity storage crates, mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual energy signatures. There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. What?
That's odd. Where is it? Just when I saw something. Dead. Warning. Ship is under attack. Above us, that's a Borg Sphere. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. The Borg Sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the Sphere's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. That's confusing. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. What did I miss? There's something here triggered very quickly mm, I guess not okay weird it's quiet too quiet look out it's a trap
over here behind this thing. This is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Who are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obase, if a name is that important to you. And what are you doing here? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the Shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. You to investigate unusual scanner readings from this station. Doubtless you have discovered the source of those readings. Understand that I have little desire to unleash this sort of destruction, but my hand is forced. The Riemann people will only be liberated if we are able to make a clear and decisive stand against the Romulans. The technology of this station will allow us to do so. The Federation could assist the Riemanns in their desire to separate from the Romulan people. Just as your Federation offered assistance to the Romulans before the supernova of Hobus and the subsequent destruction of Romulus? No. History has shown that I cannot trust in the good intentions of the Federation. An oppressed people must be ready to seize their liberty through any means available to them. The technology of this station has provided me with indisputable means. Even if you succeed, you must find a way to normalize relations. You will need allies. I will deal with the future when it arrives. For me, there is no tomorrow until my people are free. However, I respect your commitment to your position. It's a shame we are at cross purposes. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. Warning, ship is under attack. Target's shields have failed. Escape. Warning, ship is under attack.
Ha. It's almost just like hallways you could walk down. Oof. Warning. Ship is under attack. What? Oh. the heck Hell? Warning, ship is under attack. Jeez, there's no end to them. that warbird stay along the wall
Come on. Where am I going? Blast the door locks. Warning, ship is under attack. Hello? Oh, it's open. Aha. Warning, ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Shields have failed. Uh, what? How'd I get stuck here? Hello? Move. Aha! That was weird. Just that stupid energy that hurt. Going the other way. It doesn't seem to move much from there. Oh no. Warning. Ship is under attack. Ooh.
Night, Christy. Get a word in between. Oh no! Ow. Shots. We must stop Obasek's ship. They cannot be allowed to possess Thaleron weapons. We can use the subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. But Obasek's warship will almost certainly attack us when we do. We'll have to survive long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Uh, let's head out. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. We are now in the micro nebula. USS Laza is signaling us. They're going to engage the Riemann ship, but they want us to take care of the fighters and plasma torpedoes. Look at it. Oh, it's a beautiful ship. Undiplomatic. Oh. Okay, I tried. Really? Dang it. There it is. It was quite an explosion, probably from the Thaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. All right. Let's go. Oh, was 
about to call it after this mission anyway. Uh, I didn't level up yet. Has to actually finish the mission. Oh wait, I have to go back to it. Let's switch back. Active starship. All right. Let's leave interior. It's interesting that you actually put one of your bridge officers as the officer that lets you switch ships. And let's go. Why can't I go full impulse? Oh my gosh. Hey, let me exit the system and re-enter. Something's broken here. No, it's still broken. I don't understand. What? Excuse me. <laughs> what happened to all this stuff on my ship? Why did it di Oh my gods. What the heck? Why? Why did you do this? It freaking unequipped everything. Why would you do that? I just changed ships. I didn't want you to unequip what was on the one. My good gods. What the heck? Ay ay ay. No wonder it was going so slow. Wait, I still can't go full impulse? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bruh. There we go. Took it a minute. What the heck? Yeah, beam me down there. Why did it unequip everything? I just switched starships. It shouldn't unequip everything from the one you, other one you use. Like, you get one starship and one main craft and it shouldn't unequip everything from your starship if you switch to your shuttle that's stupid i've taken a preliminary look at your logs and it seems that things went a bit unexpectedly i have a feeling this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the vault the Riemann commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters, for analysis. If this Riemann is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him again. And hopefully, Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him and a sociological analysis of the separatists. Our next step will be to decode the signal intelligence and go through any remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Remans were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows far too little about a civil war in the making, but it'll take time to sift through all of the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Oh, and thanks for the good work.
Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sila's forces may indeed be hounding the Remans, but the use of Thaleron weapons is unacceptable. Not even the Klingons or the Breen will stoop to such barbarism. Starfleet Intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the base's databanks. The next step may be to investigate these sites and find out why the Remans want to destroy them. I have new missions for you. Oh. Another bridge officer. What do I need? Science. Science. Matrix, gravity, well, energy, sci-fi, and science team. Oh, this one has an ability that I need. I get the attachment. Wait, I needed the science officer for. Yeah, it's a science team one. On the shuttle. That's why I need him. But I don't have room for him right now, do I? I do not. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I'll get this guy for his ability and cannon rapid fire one. Not now. Starfleet Intelligence has decoded the list of Riemann targets that you recovered from the vault. I need you to investigate one of these locations and determine why Obasek and his forces planned an attack there. The Vahar system is still technically part of the Romulan Star Empire. But Ferengi speculators have moved in, and the Empress has done nothing to remove them. The Ferengi have reopened the mines, and are now doing business with anyone with Latinum. You will go to the Vahar system under the pretense of negotiating a possible trade agreement with the Federation. Talk to Madron, the operator of the mines. Convince him to allow you access. Find out all you can. Once we know why Obasek and the Remans are targeting these mines, then we will be able to decide how to proceed. All right. I Stop have a new mission. And exit. I got this. A space and a ground point. Awesome. All right, I need to get that so that that's maxed out. Then let's get something here. did I want? Here's a uh, device to add to that. Ooh. Yeah, that one's not that great. Emitter array. Yeah, let's get that one. Cycle that, that, oh look, some more officer assignments are completed, that one was a failure, that one, pass, that means I have the lithium to refine, awesome, oh, more? Another one. 
Awesome. No, not that. I have reputation. That stays there apparently until you get all the actual reputations, then that vanishes. Check those occasionally to make sure nothing resets on me. Or nothing is reset on me. I'm gonna head out. Beaming down. Warping out. There we go. Oh. I need to sit up. Yeah. Ah. Oh my goodness. Another thing already. <laughs> You know what, I might as well go in. Oh wait, I don't need to go there. What am I doing? No, no, no. Exit the system. I don't need the bank. I just need the account bank. I already have a way to, uh... access that... on the ship. There we go. This one doesn't have a way of measuring before it starts loading. Right, I have to go to the ready room. Get to my account bank. There we go. And there we go. Everything is put away. Oh, got more dilithium. Uh, we're about to have more. <sighs> oh. And that, too. There we go. That's all I needed to do. Can't let my R&D character pick that up. That'll be all. Let's see. I gotta beam out. Alrighty. I'm gonna see who's live. See if there's someone to raid. Vast, quit trying to sell me anything. It's it's ridiculous. Oh, we got two. We got J Red, and okay. Let me check the uh, the time on each of these trap and J Red. But uh, let's see who's. Got less time. Trap has been going a while. Might be ending soon. 
J Red, on the other hand, uh, started 20 minutes ago. Alright. Let's go. Raid. J Red. The raid is ready! Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Skyrim. Uh, dismissed. <laughs>